That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to Nidavellia, brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body. I was feeling the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Could we talk we to you for any trouble, please? There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. The buildings here really are incredible. The detail in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear. Return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. Take your time. You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oh, you are long overdue for a replacement. Taking advantage of certain material. Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things oh, in action. Uh. There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Skialfa. 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 Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of a lair. How was I supposed to know they were there? Right side! Farther! Okay, 
So, Sterling. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole. Excuse me, but we're looking Nothing for... for you here. I don't care what you want. No food, no encouraging words. No, This looks promising, right? Well, that's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. I think that's him. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head! I've got skin, but he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now, scamper off.
Come. A boat cannot be far. Anyone's following you? Was being the key word here, little brother. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ah, uh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Scald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, Mimir, how many stories have you told about Odin and Thor, and all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. Let's see. Not now. Taking a break before visiting Durlin, collected Kavasir stories? Give him here! Huge fan!
you've got some relics of the Dwarven Resistance. Greetings, boys. Good to see you. Thawmore, the stonemason. Aye, he quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him, found Thor instead. And there was Thawmore's son, Grimther. Who built the walls of Asgard, and whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. Ah, but enough of that for now. There's another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke. Why would the dwarves agree to work for the Aesir in the first place? That's the heart of it, eh? You lied to them. I lied to them. On your right! <laughs> <laughs> If the dwarves didn't like working for Asgard, couldn't they just quit? And do what? Their newly built forges poisoned the soil of Svartalfheim. Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. <laughs> if they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. And <laughs> awful. Still see to Muspelheim. Think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago? What makes you say that? Wishful thinking, I guess. Going through Serta's gauntlet, it was fun. It was training. You didn't have fun? Hmm. Well, anyway, we should look for the other half of the seat. Once it's whole again, we can see where it leads. Anything illuminating. Make it across. Yeah! <laughs> 
It's a Bergstra! Spawning a little wretch is like there's no tomorrow! Oh, it will be so! Father, what was Spartan trying to oh. do? You okay, Mimir? To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. There, brother. Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf in Spartalfheim. If he couldn't use their skills, no one could. Brother! you ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on, then. Okay. What other terrible things have Odin and Thor done? There was Groa, of course. The Knowledge Keeper and Prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. You can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body, and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. 
What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Well, admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best. But not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. Oh, I know. There was Skavi, the queen of the hunt. Aye, he spurned Odin's affections. So he tricked her into killing her father. And we'll just stop there for now. <laughs> Amir, what do you think it means? Seen more raiders come back as Hellwalkers lately. I thought freeing the Valkyrie Queen was supposed to restore balance to the realms and keep that from happening. That's a good question, lad, and a troubling one. If Hell's filled up again, it suggests that something's been hindering Sigrun's efforts. Or perhaps something even more urgent is keeping her distracted and unable to visit, even occasionally. Yeah, sorry, Amir. We're looking for Derlin? Do you have an appointment? Uh, no. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Here to collect on something, pal. I think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Estrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get? You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead. Best of them all. One's left alive have to pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfine from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Take this. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the old father's given name and, uh, yeah, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. 